us tough to talk about this with an ongoing investigation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Rod Wheeler is joining us now. Of course, he looks into things like this, stories like this. As a former homicide detective, Rod, a Fox News contributor now, what do you think? You know, this was obviously a targeted attack, Jenna, and the reason I think that Terry, the uh, prosecutor, could not really elaborate is because whoever did this horrific act is still out there somewhere, and they're trying to figure out now exactly why did this person, what was the motive behind what they did, and how was it that they were able to pull off this explosion, probably using natural gas, natural gas lines that come into that home. That's what it appears to, right, to me right now. Because you don't normally see explosions like this, Rod. I mean, when you see crimes, and if they're intentionally set, uh, the, I mean, we have to show, if we can, some of that video that we have of this explosion in the neighborhood because it's just over the top. Based well, on that, is. Rod, where would you start looking? Where would you begin? Well, well, uh, that's an excellent question, Jana. Real quickly here, with a natural gas explosion, which the fire department thought it was initially, it's going to be pretty much centered around just that home. However, with this particular explosion, not only did it, the, the house explode, but it started subsequent fires afterward, which made the police and the investigators start thinking maybe somebody had planted this. So what are they doing right now? They're interviewing anyone and everyone that was associated with that home, including the two individuals that were away from that home. And it appears to me that the two victims that we had, Gina, I think they were just the collateral mm -hmm. victims of whatever was going on inside the home and which was next to the house in which they lived. Yeah, so sad. Such a young couple uh, that, as you mentioned, murdered in this, That's right. in this incident. What does it say to you that ATF is involved? Well, that's another excellent question. First of all, ATF typically does get involved in these types of explosions. And why? Mainly because they are the experts, Gina, when it comes to fires and explosions. So they're working along with the police department in that area, the arson investigators in that area. And I don't think the FBI is quite involved yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did get involved and, and what to would, some degree. what would be that tipping point for the FBI to suddenly get involved here? Well, if the individuals who was responsible for the six types of chemicals, trust me, the FBI wants to know about that because we have to start looking at other types of explosions as well. How did these people get that knowledge? Where did they get this material? And whether or not they went across state lines. Yeah, frightening case, Rod. Thanks for the time. A uh, story we're going to continue to watch. Hopefully they solve this mystery. Thank you. Sure. Thank you, Gina. Yeah, that is a strange one. A countdown to the possible fifth.